Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Tuesday, the last day of August, the 31st of August 2021. Uh, medium level Guardian Sudoku coming up Tuesday is generally very easy, I must admit hardly usually, not usually a proper medium level puzzle, usually it's a easy one, but they have been known to uh, slip <laughs> An occasional, an occasional uh, difficult one in there as well. So we'll find that out in a moment. Just before I mention something in the news, <clears throat> uh, I see that uh, you know one unfortunate effect of uh, the COVID nineteen situation is that uh, it affects non COVID related health issues as well. And in particular, in the UK, transplant surgery is down by or was down by twenty percent. It is down now. It was down by 20% in 2020. Uh, of course, the reason is because of the lack of ICU beds and uh, people worried about safety in hospitals and not wanting to go to hospitals and stuff like that. But it means an extra 100 people died in that year because they couldn't get transplants, you know, not related to um, not uh, the actual COVID itself, COVID-19 itself, just side effects that come from having an overloaded health system so uh, yet another reason to make sure people are vaccinated and can uh, you know try to reduce the overload on the system okay um, shall we get on with our um, Sudoku puzzle for today now if you've never played Sudoku before and that could that's easily that could easily be the case since this is generally an easy level puzzle you will see there are nine squares across and nine squares down and nine squares in each of these outlined blocks and we just fit numbers one to nine in there there's nothing to do with maths here you don't need to um, add or subtract or do anything like that you just need to be able to count to nine um, you don't even need to be able to count to nine but it, it, it is helpful to understand that numbers go between one and nine and they are their logical counters now each number can appear once only so this one is only once in this row, once in this column, and once in this block. And that's the thing that can help us to solve the puzzle. So, uh, for example, let's look at this block here and say that this one can't be in this square because it already appears in this column. And this one appears in this column, so it can't be in any of these three squares. So if it's not here, and it's not here or here, well, there's only one square left. So we know that we can place our one in that square there. And this is how we go on around and around solving the puzzle. We see this five can't be in this row. This five can't be in this row again. And so there's only one square left in this block where we can put the five. Six blocks this square here, this six in this column. And this six in this row blocks this square here. So six has got to go here like this. Now this six blocks across here, this six blocks across here one square left so we can put our six there now you know we take these numbers that we fill in and they're helping us because they're reducing the options available so this six blocks up this column and the six we just filled in blocks up this column and this six blocks across here so blocked blocked and blocked so you'll see there's just one square left where the six can go We, when we see a, a line like this, a row like this, with only two numbers, we generally check and see which numbers are missing, because sometimes we can, uh, uh, you know, find out what they are, uh, where they go. So I should say, place them. So we've got a one, two, three. We don't have a four. We've got five, six. We don't have seven. We've got eight and nine. So we know that the two missing numbers that have to be in these two squares are four and seven to complete this row from one to nine. But we see that this seven stops that from being a seven. So we know that the seven's got to be placed there and the four has got to go there. There's six blocks across this row, six blocks across this row, and six blocks down here. So the six goes there. And now there's just one more of these um, blocks that doesn't contain a six and it's this one here 
So now if you're in this situation, you find yourself with a block that doesn't yet have a digit, and you've only got you've got it in all other eight of the blocks, you can always find it. So we say six blocking across here, six blocking across here, and six blocking up here. Gives us a six there. Um, right, what else? Okay, sometimes we kind of think forwards a little bit. So um, we can do this. We can see that this one blocks down here, right? And this one blocks over here, so we know that one is somewhere in one of these two squares, blocking down here, blocking across here. So one's got to be here or here. Now we can't say where it appears yet, we don't have any blocking ones from above. But it's one here or here. So now if it's here or here, it doesn't matter if it's in this square or this square, it will block along this row, and so there can't be a one here. And this one blocks across this row, so there's again only one square left to fill in. Let's do that again uh, up here. We can see the one blocking these two squares. So one has got to appear. Well, it can't appear here, but it could appear in one of these two squares here, right? So then that's going to block across here, and this one blocks across here, and that will give us a one that we can fill in there. And now we can say one blocking down here and one blocking across. So that gives us a one to fill in there. This two blocks down this column and there's only one empty square, so the two's got to go there. Now we can take that two, and we can bring it across this row, so two is blocking these squares, and two blocking up here, and so two's got to go there. And the three, three now blocking down this column like this, and that puts a three there, like so. Now we don't have a three in this block just yet, but this three stops that from being a three there, so we can place the three there, and then we can count through and find our missing number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got to be an eight. We have a nine already, so we know that's an eight. This block here does not yet have an eight, but the eight clearly can't go here, so the eight's got to go here like this. And we'll count through and find the missing number. It's a nine, actually, but anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our nine. Going in there. Now there's only one number missing in this row and one number missing in this row, so we can find them for sure. One, two, three. There's no four here, so that's got to be a four. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no seven, so we know that that's a seven. Okay, thinking, I think we are coming along quite nicely here. As I said, these games uh, on a Tuesday are generally pretty uh, straightforward and easy. Um, what to look at next? And this is part of the game of Sudoku, is trying to decide where you should be looking next. Um, for people new to the channel, um, I should say that I don't play these games in advance, so I'm looking at them fresh as you are. Two blocking up here, two blocking up here, two blocking across here. That's going to give us a two in that square there. Now, missing numbers in this column, let's find out what they are. In fact, they're one and seven. Do we see a one? There's no one. Two, three, four, five, six, there's no seven, eight, nine. So one and seven are missing. Now this one says that this square can't be a one. So one goes here, seven goes there. 
Now this one blocks this square. In fact, this one blocks up this column is all we need to know. Because that just leaves the one right there. Missing numbers uh, here are 5 and 8, but we can't do anything about them, so we just forget about that for the moment. Um, there's not much we can say. Um, but, well, okay, no, we don't need to. 7 blocking down here, 7 blocking across here. We don't yet have a 7 in this box here, so we'll put the 7 there. Seven blocking across this row, seven across this row, and seven down. Let's just put the seven there. And again, there's just one block that doesn't have a seven. We've got seven, 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 seven. So just this block to get, so we know we can find it. Seven blocking up here, seven blocking up here, seven across, seven across. So seven's got to go there. Okay, now this is a kind of technique that you, that's very interesting and useful. There are three numbers missing, right? Let's find out what they are. We have a one. Do we have a two? No. Three, four. Do we have a five? No. One and five. Six, seven. Do we have an eight? No. Nine. So we are one, five, uh, sorry, <laughs> two, five, and eight missing. Two, five, and eight are our missing numbers, I should say. Two, five, and eight we don't have. But look, 5 and 8 are in the same column, looking at this square here. This can't be a 5, can it? And it can't be an 8. But it's only 2, 5 and 8 left to go. So if it's not 5, it's not 8. We know it's got to be 2. And we also know that 5 and 8 are in these two squares, but we can't tell which is which. So again, we just leave that and come back later. Sorry for being quiet for a moment. I'm just uh, looking for numbers, which is our constant quest when playing Sudoku. As I said, I don't rehearse these games or look for anything ahead of uh, time. So just starting the video, I start the uh, um, start looking for the numbers. I don't play the game at all ahead of time. Um, hmm. And maybe I should sometimes. <laughs> hmm. It's taking a bit longer to see. Oh, okay. So I must be able to get this number. Right, okay, so I didn't spot the pattern, but this is what you should be looking for. Sometimes rather than looking for numbers, you'll be looking for patterns. So look at this, there are two empty squares here in this block. Now I can find out what they are. Even if I can't place them in their squares, I can find out what they are. One, two, three, four, five, and eight are missing. Now we can't place five and eight, but we do know that they are five and eight. So now we look down here, and now we only have one number missing, so we know what we have we have to be able to find it. One, two, three. Is there a four? No, there's no four. So we know that's got to be a four because this is five and eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a four here. Hmm. 
Uh, oh, look at this. I should have said, nah, this is uh, quite a strange thing. You'll find that <laughs> when playing Sudoku, when making Sudoku videos, you will miss things, quite weird things that you should definitely see and will normally see when not making a video. For example, this five blocks this square already. So five can only be in this square here and nine has got to be here, right? <laughs> Oh dear. All right. So the three missing numbers down here are two, four, and eight. We have one, we don't have two, three, there's no four, five, six, seven, no eight, two, four, and eight. But here are the two and the four, stopping this from being a two or a four. So we know that eight has got to go here. This eight blocks this row, this eight blocks this row, eight blocks down here, so that's an eight there. This two blocks down this column and two blocks across here, so that's going to be a two here. This four blocks this row and so 4 is there. Now we can say 4 blocking up this column, 4 up this column, 4 across this row, it gives me a 4 there. be nearly there surely oh yeah one number missing here okay so uh, it's a four isn't it one two three there's no four yet so four has got to go there and then four blocks up here four blocks up here that's a four there one number missing in this column down here one two we don't have a three yet so we can put in three now uh, we don't have a two in this block yet this two stops that from being a two so we can put the 2 there, and the last number to get in this block is a 9. Okay. Um, okay, so we know that these two numbers are 5 and 8, if you remember. 5 and 8 can only go in here. And then this 3 blocks this square here, so 3 must go here, because this has to be 5 or 8. So 3 blocks along here, 3 blocks up there, if you want to think about it like that. So the 3 goes here. And now we can find the missing number down in this column, and I believe it's a 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, it's a 9, so we'll put our 9 in. And now 9 blocking across here, that gives us a 9 up there. Uh, this 9 blocks up this column, and this 9 blocks across this row, so that gives us a 9 there. One number missing in this column now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's an 8. So we'll put our 8 in here. 8 stops this from being an 8, so 8 goes here. The last number in this block is a 5. Now we need one more number for this row. Uh, it's a 3. 3 goes here. And the last number for this block is a 5. We can put that in here. And then uh, what's missing down here? So we're missing 5 and 8 here. Well, this 8 stops that from being there. So 8 goes here. 5 goes here. This 5 says this is not a 5. 5's got to go here. The last number is a 3, and we check our Sudoku when we're playing on pen and paper as opposed to on the computer. We should check and make sure that we haven't made any silly mistakes. And believe me, even expert players can make silly mistakes sometimes. I don't know what happens when you're playing Sudoku. Sometimes the brain has a crunch. <laughs> but anyway, 
No, that looks to be okay. So thank you very much for joining me. Please subscribe to the channel. Learn more about Sudoku. There's lots of uh, different levels of Sudoku on this channel and other people's Sudoku channels too. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.